Okay, so once you can start smelling the chocolate and the coconut of the crust, usually it's a good indicator that your 10 minutes has been done. You want to pull out your crust, check it, and seeing that the coconut is the golden brown, we'll let you know that it's done. We're going to take this and set this aside to cool. I've also taken the remaining half cup of the heavy cream and whipped it. You can do this using a handheld mixer or your stand mixer. You want to just get it to stiff peaks and set aside. Went ahead and strained that wonderful cream with the mint that we heated up. You can just smell the aroma of the mint and just bring spring to mind. With this, what we're going to do is go ahead and add it to the creme de mint with the gelatin pack. Go ahead and let it sit for about five minutes to get that gelatin nice and soft. We're going to put this in a heat proof bowl, add the cream, we're going to take a whisk and get this going good and mixed. We're going to set this over a double boiler. What you want to do with a double boiler is actually put this into on water into a pan maybe about an inch to an inch and a half. You do not want to have the water touch the bottom of the bowl. You want to have it just so the steam does it. We're going to take this and heat this up until the gelatin actually dissolves with the cream. And it's actually starting to turn a really nice pale green color, which is the signature color for the grasshopper pie. You want to do this for about one minute until it's just hot to the touch. While we've got this mixing up, we're going to go ahead and take the five egg yolks, the sugar, and we're gonna put this into another heat proof bowl. You want to go ahead and break up the egg yolks and the sugar, and it's gonna make this yellow pasty. and get the sugar all in the end have it a good, good mix. So you want it to be that pale yellow and have things good and mixed. That lets you know that the eggs and sugar are well incorporated together. Now that we've had this actually heat up for the one minute and the gelatin is dissolved. You want to carefully take the bowl and slowly pour it into the eggs. Now this is very important because doing it slowly is going to keep the eggs from actually cooking. And no one wants a pie with scrambled eggs. Continue to, to whisk, stirring the eggs. This actually keeps them from sticking at the bottom, which will also help prevent from cooking. Okay, perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this bowl and actually return it back over to the double boiler. We're going to continuously stir this. What we're trying to do now is take this and the gelatin with the heat and the cream is actually going to make it um, become thicker.